Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. It's an era of killer robots. The robots which searches for its targets, locates it and hunts it down. It's called lottery munition also known as suicide drone or kamikaze drone which is going to change the modern era of warfare and its strategies. These drones can be used for many tactical operations even in an area guarded heavily by air defense systems. Their small size and large numbers can overwhelm and saturate the air defense systems rendering them either empty or completely useless. They can be effectively used in C that is suppression of enemy air defense missions and also against tanks, infantry and artilleries. Their small size, low cost make them operationally more viable. Now Indian Army has significantly boosted its lottery munitions stockpile and continues to acquire more of them. There are five different types of lottery munitions which are either in service or in process of induction with Indian Army which we are discussing in today's video. The most recent one is Nagastra series of lottery munition. The EEL, which is a subsidiary of Solar Industries, has launched its Nagastra series of lottery munitions, namely Nagastra 1, 2 and 3. The Nagastra 1 has recently completed its user trial with Indian Army. It has more than 80% indigenous content and can carry warhead of up to 1.5 kg up to a range of 15 km. Nagastra 2 and 3 has also been tested in Ladakh in March 2022. Nagas 2 is a tube or catapult launch lottery munition that can deliver 4 kg of explosive warhead up to a range of 25 km. It will be a man portable system in backpacks with a total up weight of only 20 kg which includes communication control, payload and launch mechanisms. Nagas 3 is a vehicle mounted tube or cassette launched lottery munition that can carry 5 to 10 kg of warhead up to a range of 40 to 100 km. This will be a rugged and mobile system where six launchers, generators, UPS and other support equipment can be accommodated in a one ton class of vehicle. This variant can gain fully utilized by operational commanders to shape the battlefield and can be a game changer. Now, as you all know, Indian Army has also procured 100 numbers of Polish Warmate UAV lottery munition. The Warmate constitutes a good alternative for anti-tank guided missiles with its capability to operate in significantly larger radius, allowing comfortable detection and observation of potential targets. Optionally, the system can be equipped with a laser-seeking warhead. It can carry thermobaric or high-explosive type warhead. It has an operational range of 30 km and a speed of 80 km per hour. The Warmate in a combat configuration is expendable solution. In observation configuration, that is for ISR mission, the UV can be recovered and reused. The Warmet is fully autonomous solution allowing real-time operation of airborne warfare using the video feed received from its surveillance system. Now, Indian Army last year has procured more than 100 units of Sky Striker from Israel's Elbit system worth rupees 100 crore. Sky Striker is again a fully autonomous UAS that can locate, acquire and strike operated designated targets with a 5 kg of warhead installed inside the fuselage enabling high precision performance. It can reach a target area located 20 km away within 10 minutes. It has dual seeker with a day and night capability. The UAS electric propulsion offers a minimal acoustic signature allowing covert operation at low altitude. It can also carry armor piercing munitions to destroy tanks. It has 360 degree attack capability. The UAS has endurance of up to 2 hours and has autonomous navigation during cruising and lottering phase. It can track the target in both day and night using its high quality camera and it can abort its mission at last moment if needed. The best part is that it can be safely recovered and landed and reused later. The fourth one is Jet Motion Trinetra, an indigenously developed lottering ammunition which can be launched by hand. It can lotter over target with precision attack capability. If mission is aborted, the system can be recovered using a parachute and reuse. It has operation range of 15 km with fire and forget type capability. The warhead can be detonated on impact as well as in proximity. It can be guided via GPS or EO sensors. 
It has cruising speed of nearly 72 km per hour. It has an endurance of 1 hour, total weight of 5.5 kg and can carry a warhead of up to 1 kg. Interestingly, the Solar Industries has taken 45% stake in Z Motions Private Limited. Last but not the least is TASL, which is another indigenous lottery munition capable of operating from difficult terrain and high altitude areas. Developed by Tata Advanced Systems Limited, the autonomous system will soon be inducted into Indian Armed Forces. The ALS-50 of TASL can take off like a quadcopter and transitions into a fixed wing mode during flight for long distance travel. It has demonstrated its ability to operate from high altitude areas during tests in Ladakh as well as in the hot desert of Pokhran. It has payload capacity of 23 kgs. The drone seems to have four electric motors and one piston engine of 37 horsepower. It has a range of 1000 km and top speed of 190 km per hour and endurance of nearly 6 hours. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.